teacher. Hello, good morning. Hi. Hello. Yes. Okay, so um Hello teacher. Yeah. Can you please turn on your camera? Oh, sorry, I don't have the camera. Ah, okay. I I use the PC, so I don't have the camera. Ah, yeah, 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 I understand. Okay, so do you always attend class using the computer? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, so welcome to my class. So before we start, let's have a system check first. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? Hello? Um, yeah. Okay, can you see me? Yeah. Very good. How about my screen? Can you see my screen? Um, is, yes. Okay, then, then that's good to know. So welcome to my class. My name is Teacher AM. I am 22 years old, single, no husband, no kids. I live here in the Philippines and I also live with my parents. I graduated with my bachelor's degree and for my hobbies, during my free time, I love watching movies, reading books, going to the gym, like that. So do you have any question about teacher AM? Uh, no. Oh, by the way, I've been teaching online for about three years, but here in Pantadong, I'm, it's been my one year teaching here in Pantadong. Yeah, I, I taught lots of students before mostly Chinese students. So this is my first time teaching Vietnamese students since I started working in Pantado last year. Yes. Ah. Okay. So here, um, I will give you the chance to introduce yourself. Uh, hello. I am I... I'm Anne, but you can call me Anna because it's also my English name. I'm, tw I'm 13 years old and in grade 8. And I'm a secondary school. I live in the night province. It's a province. It's, it is a I'm sorry, Anna. I can't hear you well. Oh? Yeah. Or maybe you are done introducing yourself. Are you done? I done three seconds before you. Ah, so that's why I can't hear you anymore. Okay. Then what are your... Nice to meet you, Han Anna. Yeah. What a beautiful name. So I'm very sure that you are also beautiful, just like your name. What's your hobby, Anna? My hobby is listening to music. Oh, listening to music. What music do you like to listen to? I like K-pop and American. Oh, K-pop. What group of K-pop do you like? Uh, like I Black like Blackpink, Blackpink, uh -huh. 
Oh, yeah, just like my sister, they both like Blackpink and BTS. So, who's your bias in BTS? Um, I, I watch BTS. I like uh, BTS, uh, Jungkook, but then I, I like all of them. Okay, how about Blackpink? Uh, the, I like all of them. What? I like all of the members in Blackpink. Okay, then that's good. So now, Anna, are you ready to learn? Yes. Okay, so Unit 6 is all about high flyers. So this is writing... A4 and against essay. So at the end of this unit, you will be, you will learn I can write a 4 and against essay about education and work. Okay? So we are now the last part of unit 6. So wait me a minute because the baby is crying. Yeah, yeah. Vocational. A uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, I I cannot see your screen. Why? I don't know. I think it's the internet and um the You mean it's blur? Can I tap it and send to you? Ah uh, yeah, sure. You can send it to me in my in Zalo teacher AM. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I think that's blur. By the way, do you have account in Zalo? Ah, here. Yes. Uh, is it my... I don't have an account. Ah, okay. So don't worry because I will send this to you so that you can see clearly. Yes. Okay, so let's learn the words from our vocabulary. We have here, I want you to repeat after me. You say vocational. 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 Okay, so when you say vocational, it is a technical vocational course connected with skills, knowledge that you need to have in order to do a particular job. Example for vocational courses are cooking, automotive, that deals with cars okay then what else hair hair uh hair and makeup then what do you call that one the one who made clothes yeah um designer yeah fashion designer those are vocational courses yeah such as costume mm -hmm. design and catering are becoming very popular can you think of any course that belongs to vic vocational um engineer what is that engineer engineer no engineer is doesn't belong to vic vocational courses courses when you say vocational courses it needs a skill to learn yeah, just like cooking. You need to learn cooking. Um, what else? Automotive. Mecha um mechanic uh mecha what's that? Mechanician? Yeah. Mecha mechanician? No, mechanic. <laughs> yeah, mechanic. Okay, anyway, so here we have argument. Argument. Can you please repeat this word? Argument. Argument. Okay, so when you say argument, okay, 
it takes two people to have an argument. Just like having a conversation, it is giving and taking ideas. So it also takes two people to have a conversation and an argument. So when you say argument, it is part of conversation or discussion in which two or more people disagree. So for example, I will say, the sun is purple. Then you will say, no, teacher, the sun is not purple. It is yellow. So in that conversation, we are now having argument because you disagree to my idea that the sun, the color of the sun is yellow. I Purple, not yellow. I, not purple, but yellow. Do you understand, Anna? Yes. Yes, yeah, so that's argument. After some heated argument, a decision was finally taken. Yes, yeah, sometimes arguments leads to conflict if there's communication barrier, barrier. That's why when there's um when there's an argument, you need to settle and communicate well to your to the people that you're having a conversation with. Okay, so do you have any question about vocational and argument? No. Okay, so now let's proceed in task one. I want you to think three jobs for which you need to do a vocational degree. So what do you think? A teacher, vocational degree, is it like a uh, vocational What degree? Um, it's like, is it like qualification? I'm sorry. What's the last word? Uh, this degree, vocational degree. Uh, degree is it like is it of uh qualification? Qualification. Mm, no. When you say vocational degree, example, teacher AM, I finished my bachelor's degree. So that means I studied four years, but that is bachelor, not vocational. So I finished um, studying as a business student, business management, major in I, bachelor science of business management, major in financial management. Another example of bachelor's degree are engineers, doctor, okay? When you have degree, that means you spend time, uh, you spend two to four years in studying with that course. Yeah, that's the definition of degree. Uh, do you know what is degree in Vietnam? Degree? <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak Viet. Um, I don't speak Vietnamese. Yeah. Okay. So don't don't be bothered about the degree word. So just focus in the vocational. Uh, yes. Yes. Think of three jobs for which you would need to do a vocational. Three doctor. jobs that doctor. Okay, yeah. what else? Uh, teacher. Okay, teacher. Um, it's a what? Pol police. police okay, so actually, doctor, teacher, and police officer doesn't belong to vocational degree. They are bachelor's degree. So we have here, ah, ah, okay. So I think vocational and bachelor's degree are just the same. But you know, here in the Philippines, when you say vocational degree, it's different from bachelor's degree. So yes, you got it right, doctor, nurse, lawyer, and teacher. So now, here in task two, Anna, I want you to read the text, okay, and the essay the text and the essay. Do you agree with the writer's general opinion? Then you explain your answer, whether if it's yes, then you explain why. If it's no, then you explain why you said no. 
So here, you should be encouraged to choose vocational courses at university instead of more traditional courses. So can you please read this one loudly, Anna? Uh, I, I cannot see it. Can you? Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, I will send this to you again. My screen is like that and I can not see Yeah, it. yeah, it's really not clear. Uh, I'm loud. What? I read it out loud or? Yes, you're going to read it out loud. Uh, some people mention that the benefits of the benefits of vocational course than those traditional ones. The wait. Are you done reading, Anna? Hello, Anna. Are you done reading? Hello? Hello, Anna. Can you hear me? Hello, Anna. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, Anna. Hello, Anna. Can you hear me?
Hello, Anna. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, what happened? Uh, it's... Uh, so, I can't... What? Get away from me a bit. And my, I'm I study in a, sh a shop. My, in my mother's shop, it, it had the computer, so I study in my. Uh, and. Uh, Louder your voice, Anna. Teacher, yes. Uh, can you hear me clearly so I I can explain? Um, yeah. I I study in my mother's the computer. So sometimes, just sometimes, it's her. So I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So that's okay, Anna. That's understandable. So now, can you please continue reading? Can we proceed with our lesson now? Yes. Uh, that okay. is the question we need to consider. Is it that the workplace become more competitive? Of course, maybe a more into employment compared to conditional courses. Jobs, for example, here on the on the other hand, choose vocational course deciding what job is it to have a teenager is vocational courses only a particular job is it not better to express their interests while at university and by should to vocational the that career they to follow Call you. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Anna. So this is the general's general idea or general opinion of the writer. Students should be encouraged to choose vocational courses at university instead of more traditional courses. So do you agree with the writer's opinion? Yes or no? Uh, uh, I think, um, teacher, 
Yes? Uh, traditional is study lots of subject in college mm -hmm. and working courses um, on the Okay, so when you say vocational course, it is a direct route in route into employment compared to traditional courses. Uh, uh, okay, I have my answer. Um, I think uh, student, for in my opinion, okay. Uh, and vocational courses. You just are cannot decide what to do. So traditional class, traditional at the university and you start can decide. Okay, so that's great, Anna. So here, let's learn on balance. When you say on balance, this is after considering all the information. Then which phrase has revealed the writer's personal opinion? Look at the text again. Which phrase has revealed the writer's personal opinion? You can circle it, Anna. Yeah. Uh, which, what, which, which phrase is and? Um. Yes, which phrases reveal the writer's personal opinion? On the, uh, Um, just highlight, highlight, so that I can see. I cannot see the letters, so ah. I highlight. Okay, so just read. Uh. Just. I write. It's up to you. If you read or write, it's okay. On the other hand, okay, so that is how can a teenager know what job is right for him or her? Okay, and is it not better for students to explore other interests while at university? Yes, so those are the phrases. So now let's proceed with task three. Look at the paragraph plan for a, for a, for and against essay. Then you decide where parag where the paragraph break should come in the essay and exercise two. Okay. So here, I will send this one to you again. Uh, teacher, I can see now. what you can see now. Can yes. Okay, that's good. So here it is. Look at the paragraph plan and against essay. You decide where the paragraph break should come in the essay in exercise two. So time check. We only have um, what's this? Five minutes left. Ah. Uh, um. Then decide when to put a uh, paragraph one introduction is some, some people until until competitive competitive very good how about arguments for to, uh, a vocational to, uh, until 
until um, too early. Um, too early. Okay, Maybe yes, yes, early. yes, yes. So, how about arguments against? How Paragraph three. How can a teenager to well at university? Very good. How about conclusion, the writer's opinion? Uh, the last paragraph. Okay. Yes, that's on balance until interest you. Very good. So now, I want you to look at the paragraph. Yeah, this is correct. Then you decide where the paragraph breaks. Ah, this is the answer now. Okay. So let's proceed with for and against essay. Oh. What happened? Okay. For and against essay. So we have introduction. Inside the introduction, you should you should introduce the topic. You use the definition. It can be a question, example, the current state of the situation, advance that you're going to discuss both sides of it. Then you use the language. Nowadays, the issue of it is a controversial one or many people say, think, or believe that. Then arguments for, you mention at least two or three ideas in favor of the topic, then you need to justify them. When you say justify, that means you support your argument or give examples. The useful language can be, on the one hand, one might argue that some people think that, moreover, also because for this reason or therefore. Then argument against, this is in the opposing side, that is against you. Okay, so that you're going to have an argument. You mentioned at least two or three ideas against the topic. That is contradiction, contradict, uh, that contradicts the topic. Then you justify them or give examples. Okay, you use the language on the other hand or on the contrary. However, other people think that furthermore or in addition and that's why. So here, conclusion, it summarizes the main ideas of the paragraph. So this will include your own opinion. Ask the readers for their opinion to simply state that there are different points of view or good at best sides to it. And you can use the phrases in conclusion to sum it up as we can see in my opinion and I see it and on balance. So in writing a paragraph or essay, Anna, we have four parts. First, we have introduction. Second, we have arguments for. This is your idea. Then argument against. This is the teacher, contra. Teacher, yes. Teacher, you can wait for me a bit. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. So, in writing an essay, we have four parts. Introduction, first paragraph. Arguments for, second paragraph. Arguments against, the contradiction, contradiction of your own idea. This is paragraph three. And in paragraph four, the conclusion, which is the summary of the topic about. So, do you understand, Anna? Yes. Okay, so that's great, Anna. So now, Anna, may I know, uh, do you go to school? Yes. Okay, so what time do you go to school? Mon uh, Tuesday to Thursday? Monday. Oh, yeah, Monday to Friday. 
Saturday. Oh, Monday to Saturday. I'm sorry. <laughs> and in the I do you have classes in the afternoon? Yes, I have class in the afternoon. What time, Anna? Twelve forty-five. Until a.m. until five p.m. Ah, so that is Monday to Saturday. No, um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Wednesday is four, four, four. Saturday is two, half past two. Okay. So I would like to ask Anna if you are free. Are you free every 3 p.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? Uh, no. No? How about um, 8 a.m. Wednesday? I wait a minute. Wait a minute. 8 a.m. Are you free? Are you free every 8 a.m. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? 8 a.m. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No. What I have a, I have a, another extra lesson, and on Friday I have a. Go. Okay. How about 8 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, is it okay? Sunday. Yeah, because Sunday, I usually go to church. Yeah. Um, do you have other time aside from Sunday? Uh, Saturday. Ah, yes. So, Monday? Uh, can I change it to... Um, What? Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday is okay. Yes, that's very okay. Okay, yeah. so that's Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday. Okay, so I'll be seeing you. Um, what's that? I'll be seeing you Monday, 8 a.m., Anna. Okay, so please take note of our new schedule. No more Sunday. Okay, Anna? Yes. yes. Okay, so do you have any question before we end? No. Okay, thank you so much for joining our class, Anna. I hope to see you Monday, 8 a.m. Bye-bye, Anna. Yes, goodbye, teacher.